So by far the most popular video on my channel is my Xbox power supply replacement video. Now I get asked questions all the time on this video from people needing help with their Xboxes and power supply replacements. And to make it easier for you guys to get answers to your questions, I thought I'd make this uh, FAQ video so that you'd have the answers to your frequently asked questions. That being said, let's get right to it. Question 1. Where do you get a new power supply? My answer, eBay. That's the best place. That's where I got my first power supply. Uh, that one did blow on me though. I think that was an unrelated uh, issue. Um, otherwise, if eBay isn't showing any good results, try to find a game shop or something or someone who has an old broken Xbox or any place that just might do console repair work or buy lots of older consoles and uh, they're guaranteed to have some spare parts lying around. Maybe not necessarily an Xbox power supply, but you could get lucky. That's what I did in getting the replacement one that's been working for a good couple of years now in my console. So yeah, just uh, hunt around and you'll eventually find one. Question number two, how much does one cost? About 10 to $20 American usually. Could be less, could be more. It just depends on the natural supply and demand. Uh, you gotta remember, an Xbox has to be taken out of commission to get one of these power supplies, so usually they only become available with an Xbox that's broken for one reason or another that isn't related to the power supply, of course. So, uh, usually failed mod attempts are your friend, hence why I go back to hitting up old uh, game shops. You never know if they might have one that someone tried to mod and failed and you know the software might be messed up on it but the power supply is still good and your unit needs one why not question three how do I know which one to get now this is the tricky one because there's no easy way to tell without actually opening up the unit or having already soft modded it to see what version number it reports that itself may not actually be accurate though so if you crack open the Xbox and get a look at the actual power connector onto the mainboard, you'll know exactly which one to get. There are universal ones, but I don't recommend those, only because my experience with one, it left kind of an odd ripple effect in the video feed, and I think that's because the power supply wasn't quite rated to a version 1.0's power consumption. Obviously being the first version of the Xbox, it used more power than later versions, at least it should anyway. And so I figure it just can't quite keep up and it'd do better on later revisions. Those universal power supplies are also really, really bulky. Trying to wedge the cables in there is a serious pain in the butt, so I definitely suggest hunting for the exact model that you need. Now, I'm going to leave a link to a website that'll let you determine which Xbox power supply you should need. Again, I can't guarantee it's going to be 100% accurate. You'll have to make a physical look at your connector and make absolutely sure of what you need. Um, any searching you do, it should be real easy to tell, and especially if you've already cracked it open. You already have the power supply that blew from your unit. So if you go out shopping, like I said, at local game shops, you can easily tell which one you need. That being said, if you're watching this video and you're in the same predicament I was a couple of years ago with the dead power supply, I do wish you the best of luck in hunting for one. Can't do too much beyond that, but at least I made the original video two years ago for you guys to find and, you know, apparently find useful. So, as always, thanks for watching. Glad I could help you out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And otherwise, have a great, great day. Catch you later, everyone.